Hey, Tony Walker here. Wow. It's a brutally rainy night tonight. Rainy, windy. I just uh, drove my uh, gal Shelly and her mom to the ferry for the 545 or 540 from Duke Point to the mainland. From Vancouver Island to the mainland. They're going to meet up with um, Shelly's daughter and her mom's granddaughter, obviously. And they're going uh, for a trip to Seattle for uh, for a day and a half or two days and coming back. So hopefully they make it there. <laughs> they picked a bad weekend for weather. As long as they're doing indoor stuff, not a problem. Outdoor stuff ain't going to be fun this weekend. So hopefully they took rain jackets and umbrellas. And I know they did. So, um, yeah, into this ADCC thing here and the old saw. Tonight I decided really not to do any work. Um, I went to work today and and did most of the day. My hand was starting to throb at the end. You can still see it's kind of purple and blue. But I, I, I welded together and got a few mufflers done for some customers. And, a, and another job on a quad uh, installing a, um, a, a sand spreader on the back electronically. It has a uh, switches for um, turning the the little spinner on and the gate thing to drop the salt for for doing uh parking lots and stuff so i helped my co-worker do that so that was fun i wanted to give a shout out to the bradleys i, I appreciate it john bradley via lieutenant bradley thank you very much for this letter so meaningful i, I love you guys i love everyone that does anything with stuff like this you know but thank you very much for watching my channel. Uh, I have seen some of your stuff on your channel, but I just subscribed today and I'll be watching more. Um, I don't get a lot of time to watch a lot of other people's channels. So a lot of people sometimes comment to me about stuff and they're like, well, didn't you see this on this guy's thing? I go, well, no. Oh, really? Oh, you don't watch YouTube? I go, yeah, I watch YouTube, but I just don't. I don't have time to watch everyone's stuff, right? I do my own stuff just to kind of create uh, awareness on stuff, uh, learning how to work on stuff, uh, new stuff, old stuff. That's kind of my thing. I, I, I don't care what, el what else other people are doing or what's going on. I think everyone else should be doing uh, just the same as I do. Me and Tin Man and Buck, and we all got to get a relationship. And Steve Small Engine Saloon, you know, we all just do our own thing. Uh, we help each other a little bit with stuff, and we go from there, eh? Yeah, nice. And then the Bradleys, y'all, yeah, check that out, man. Thank you very much. Lieutenant Bradley, salute. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. And I'll take care of your uh, adjustable carb 462. I've never ran one. Thank you very much. And I noticed it today in my lineup to do for you. I'll get it done as soon as I can. And uh, I, I guarantee it's going to be a nice saw for you. You're going to love that saw. But th yeah, thank you very much for that. I'll get that back to you. And I, I appreciate that you sent me a Starbucks coffee card. Because you know I like my Starbucks coffee. The best in the world. My daughter actually... Uh, Went down to Seattle a little while ago, and, and she was said, oh, yeah, Starbucks first coffee shop was there. But I don't think she went to it, to the first one. But I think she, well, obviously got a coffee somewhere else. But, yeah, kind of funny. So, yeah, Seattle was the first Starbucks, I think. Yeah, they're everywhere now. And then my friend Tim Man lives in Starbucks, Manitoba. Hey, Tim Man. Hope your baby's doing well and your wife's doing well and, and, and you're doing well. So, yeah, I want to say thanks to the Bradleys about that. Thank you very much. Um, I also wanted to do, just show you guys on stuff that I've been doing. Um, you know, what I've been doing, really. I show you every night. But today, a friend of mine, I knew he had an old John Surratt Model 80, okay? A Model 80. Originally built from 1970 to 1980, 80 cc's, and he dropped it off the shop today. The thing is like brand new. His grandpa bought it brand new. His dad and his grandpa, I think, only milled one tree, and his dad just milled one little tree. And it's it's 
Deluxe. So he he brought that to me. I didn't bring it home tonight, but I'm going to show you guys that. The reason I'm showing you this sheet of paper, this shows you all the specs of that engine and saw, and it even shows you a picture of the saw. This is from the Chainsaw Collector's Corner from Mike Akers. You click on the top here to chainsaws, chain, chainsaws, and you click the manufacturer when the, when the menu comes up. And you can pull up almost any saw from older saws. This is what I do. So this is what this is that John thread that the fella just brought me tonight. And I'm going to go through it and modify it a little bit. And we're going to run it uh, with our ADCC class saws. It's um, These were great old saws. John Thread, Partner, and Husqvarna were the three Swedish companies that competed against each other. Eventually, um, Husqvarna bought out John Thread and Partner. Then they bought out Pioneer... Poulan, you name it, man, okay? I don't need to go on. So this is the sheet on that saw, Model 80. And I'll show you to, 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 to tomorrow, okay? Here's the Model 5200 Poulan that Bucking gave me. I got all the write-up on it. Uh, the only thing they don't show is no advertised horsepower. No big deal. But uh, it shows all the specs of this motor. Year it was made. Um, and that's one thing I, I forgot the other night to show you guys. From 1975 to 1980, they built the 5200. 80 to 84, they built the 5400. I don't know what were the changes on it, just maybe some simple things, okay? But that's what I know about that. So there we go. We got a mid 70s to late 80s type version saw. And this saw, the 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 uh, model eighty John's red is a seventy to eighty, so that kind of gets me in that range of that year, and the year before that, as you can see of the vintage saws that I'm doing, we'll find we'll find a couple models for that range. So now I'm going to need some late eighties, which I have my one eighty one there, Bill, and. Um, as I was buckets that day too, he he talked about me doing a 288 for him, but we're gonna deal with that later. But my 181 is very unique. 1986, original, perfect shape. I'm gonna be doing that one up and having that one in our little uh, ADCC version. I also have one at the shop, a John Shred, that is um, a 2077. That was a weird square design saw. They made a really weird saw there. A very smooth running, but just bad mouse would break. These rubber ones would, would wear out and stuff. And uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with that saw. If someone left it at my shop. Apparently it wasn't fix worth fixing. It needed too much stuff. We'll see. Uh, but that's under 80 though. Okay. Forget that thing then. Uh, then I have the Obacala. Um, I might have a Homolite. I got to go look in my at my dad's shop in the back. I uh, got a whole bunch of crap laying back there. I might have an old ADCC range Homolite. Yeah, C70 or something I think they were called or something like that. I've never been much into Homolites. It's weird. I worked on a lot of them when I lived lived in Ontario. When I worked at uh, um, the Chainsaw Clinic for my friend Ron. Hey, Ron. And Ron Jr. And Ron's tree service there. The Chainsaw Clinic. Worked on a lot of Pioneers and home lights. Mainly small ones. XL12s. Uh, stuff like that. XL75, 76s. were more out this way with bigger saws. But uh, great stuff, though. Nothing wrong with them. They've made some great products, too. I don't knock any any manufacturer. They've all made great products. It all depends on the years and the place they're at. Eh? So yeah, maybe I can get something like that. Um, that home light. So that'd be a home light. John Thread. Uh, hopefully a Pioneer EIEL if I can get that on it. Poulan. Hatkevana. What am I missing? Tell me that. I don't have the Dalmar. I need an old Dalmar. 
Yeah, like a one, no, 143s or more CCs. Uh, smaller Dalmar. Um, man, I can't remember the numbers. We had a lot of Dalmars here years ago. Long time ago. Uh, my friend's dad used to have a dealership in Duncan. Uh, was it Pete's or something? Uh, Don Esau's dad had a, had a dealership in Duncan. That was uh, Dal or yeah, Dalmar. Yeah, yeah. And he sold a lot of them, man. A lot of guys use them. Great saws. Great big timber saws, man. Made some beauties. So anyways, let me know if you got something like that. Ship or buy. And you want to ship it over if it ain't running. I'll put it in my lineup of this ADCC thing. And give it a good deal or do it for free. You know, just so we can have it. You know, if you don't want it back, you want it back. That's different. But no, I don't want to, I don't want to charge anything. What am I talking about? I'm not doing this for, for, for profit. I just want to do it for fun. Me and Buck are going to have fun. We're going to, we're going to buck with all these old saws. Every year range of ADCC. I think that's a great thing. So yeah. Um, what else am I missing though? Pioneer. Yeah, Pioneer. Let's think of that. I worked on uh, hundreds and hundreds of 1072s, 1073s. What CCs were those things? 50, 60 CCs, I think. And then they had the uh, bigger ones, eh? Let's try to get a Pioneer in that range. Maybe somewhere in the uh, 80s, maybe. Okay? We're almost covered most of the other years, but it doesn't matter what year, as long as it's a manufacturer or something different. Okay, so anyways, it's enough for tonight, I think. Um, home alone. I get to watch whatever I want tonight. Hey, me and the foster. Fozzy, the dog. Man, it's still fucking purple, eh? Oh, I swear it again. Sorry, didn't mean to swear. Okay. I'll be okay tomorrow. I'm going to pour some cylinders in the morning. Get over to the shop. Put a few more together if you find folks. Sorry I've been a little slow in the last week, but uh, stuff happens, eh? <coughs> Keep sawing wood, sticking the ice, ribbon road. Check out the Walker Saw Shop .com online store. Have a great end of the week. Hope you stay dry. You poor followers out there in my area. <laughs> you had a nice for a good couple of months, so suck it up, buttercup. Cheers. Have a good night. Bye.